Hey Church, my name's Keith Reed, and I'm the Missions Director here at Audacious Church. Great to be joining you on day 20 of our prayer and fasting in the month of March. Hope it's going well for you three weeks in. Um, I hope God's really been uh, speaking to you and helping you in this time of prayer and fasting, which is great. And um, I just really want to share a little bit uh, as we pray into missions um, today. Um, I've just been thinking, uh, just been reading recently in Mark chapter 5, 21 to 43. And there's loads of times throughout the Bible. Um, and there's a couple of examples in this chapter of how Jesus went to the people. Um, in this story, we hear of Jairus, um, a, a leader who came to Jesus and asked him to go to his daughter. And as he was traveling to Jairus's house, he met another woman on the way and healed her. Um, it's an amazing thing. I want you to read that um, if you can. But there's just loads of examples of how Jesus, I mean, I don't know, if I was setting up uh, my ministry uh, in the Bible times, I would definitely have built like a Jesus um, theme park and um, come in here for your miracles and just try to just kind of, uh, I guess, you know, flyer the area and say, you know, come and come to me and come and um, find out, <laughs> come and find out about the kingdom of God and get your miracles while you're here and kind of set up shop. But Jesus was um, strategic and um, he always uh, moved from place to place uh, and met people where they were at. Thinking of the woman at the well as well and um, even going up onto the mountainside to have that time aside, it was always strategic in going to where people were or where people would gather. And um, I just really feel that challenge for us um, as a church that we don't become someone who, you know, we just sit and wait. I don't know if you've ever said that to yourself. Well, you know, if somebody asks me about God or somebody asks me about Jesus, I'll tell them. Um, yeah, for sure. And yet we wait and the question doesn't come and we sit, I don't know, sometimes can feel like we sit in our comfort saying that we're willing to say if someone asks. And yet quite often God's asking us to go. Now that go might be just to walk across the room. Uh, it might be people in your family, in your workplace, uh, that you need to walk across the room and have that conversation, have that invite to church, have that um conversation about your faith, about what you believe in, about what Jesus means to you, uh, and actually not just wait for it to fall into your lap, but to go just like Jesus did. So as we pray today, I really want us to pray into the mission of the church that is meeting the needs of the vulnerable and sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ in our world, in our city. And um, so here's a few things that you can pray for today. Uh, first thing is that I want you to pray for people in your world that don't know Jesus yet. Whether it's your family, neighbours, work colleagues, pray for salvation. A true revelation of who Jesus is. And we want that to be the fruit of um, our, our life, is that people in our life find Jesus. So we want to pray for the specific people um, in your world. Um, second thing I want us to pray for um, are the people in our city. We want to pray that as a church, we can be a part of meeting needs, helping the vulnerable and in turn pointing people to Jesus. Uh, it'd be great to pray for opportunities of how you personally can be a part of meeting the needs and making a difference for those people that you don't know yet that are in our city. Whether it's uh, getting involved with the Love Your World project uh, and, and doing something out of your normal schedule, and uh, that would be amazing. Um, third thing I want us to pray for um, is to pray for our country. And the mission field in the UK uh, is, is ripe for harvest at this time. And uh, I'm praying that as, as a result of the pandemic, our nation will turn to God and look for meaning and purpose in this season. Um, and, you know, we're just praying for a move of God. We've got campuses across the UK and into Europe and just believing that we can um, see moves of God happening all over our country, uh, which would be amazing. Uh, fourth thing, last thing I want to pray for, uh, we're going to be praying today as well for our influence uh, in the mission field beyond our country and that will be a part of spreading the gospel beyond the UK. Um, we partner with Chabatanzi Village in Rwanda, uh, which is amazing. We've got the missions team, hopefully, finally going out um, into Rwanda uh, in the next couple of months, which is going to be amazing. 
Um, if you want to know more about that, just um, speak to me on a Sunday or uh, on the missions uh, website page, it is church.com forward slash missions. Uh, that would be awesome. Um, and equally, our missions trips that we're going to do here in the UK is going to be amazing. Uh, going uh, out to our Cardiff location uh, as they launch and also uh, hopefully going back out to Sheffield later on in the year uh, and going on mission. Maybe uh, we pray for that for sure today or maybe God's asking you to be a part of that as well. But we really want to pray that uh, uh, we'll be a church that goes, that goes out of our comfort zone, out of our normal routine uh, to share the gospel and that salvation is a fruit of that. Uh, where we live, in our city, in our country and beyond. So let's really lean into that and pray for that um, as we uh, seek God in this time of prayer and fasting. Amazing. Love you, church. Uh, Have a great time praying and uh, believing that prayers are going to make things happen. In Jesus' name. Amen.